Suzuki six horsepower four stroke motor is here. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do a lot of videos on these motors. I don't know if this one is much different than those. Um, most of the ones I've seen are older than this one, but not by a lot. Uh, so I'm guessing they're going to be pretty similar. Rather than go through the entire unboxing and breaking in, um, I'm more concerned about how it's going to perform out on the water. Um, especially, you know, a new one, brandy brand new one, uh, compared to some of the others that are a little older. It probably won't be much difference, but it'll be interesting to find out. So this is what she looks like in the box. Uh, it's my understanding that I have to put oil in the engine. That looks just about the way it should be. It looks like the motor is just about level and that's where I want it to be when I put oil into it. Hmm. But I'll, uh, I'll put seven liters in there and we'll look at it and we'll, think, we'll see what we need to do from there. Okay, so here's the break-in instructions. We'll read them together. For the initial first two hours, allow sufficient idle time, about five minutes, for the engine to warm up after cold engine starting. After warming up the engine at idle speed, or the lowest in gear speed, about 15 minutes. In the remaining one or two hours, operate the engine in a gear less than half throttle. So right now it's not in gear. Well, it's sure picking up a lot of water, but it should be in neutral. Yeah. So I'm going to let it run for five minutes, and I'm going to put it in gear and run it at a very low speed for at least at a couple hours. The bumpy kind of thing, ain't she? Seems like she's got a little cam in it. I'm going to go in the house, get me a glass of tea and some sardines, and just eat my sardines while I watch it run. I'll be back. This is real down home boat maintenance stuff here when the when the guy doing the video is eating sardines. So the motor quit and I realized that I had pulled out the choke and it wasn't a self-returning choke. I kind of thought it was. But you can tell it's running a lot smoother than right now. A while ago it was kind of bump 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 bump. I got a little salmon, a little <laughs> little uh yeah, fish juice on it. Maybe it'll get more. Uh, yeah, that's a lot smoother with the choke in. Duh. I was wondering why it's running so rough. Sounded like it had a cam in it. So I'm just going to pluck it back in the gear. Keep eating our, our uh, sardines. That's what I was trying to say. Get old sardines. Some of you guys don't like sardines. Some of you guys don't know what's good for you. I bet your mama told you that when you were little too, didn't you? Love y'all. I walked into the house a while ago. To, I came up here and get the mail. And then I came back out and I thought, mm, is that motor still running? can't hear it. It's still running. It's very quiet. I like that. You know, we live on lake. We're surrounded by water uh, from here. If you were to go all the way around and all the way around and all the way around, uh, this water everywhere encircling us. So we hear all the boats out on the lake, all the fishing boats. When they have a tournament, we hear them out there buzzing around. I like the idea of having a quiet motor. That works for me. So according to the warm-up thing, I can uh, increase, increase the throttle speed just in gear. It says up to half speed. Let's just go up a little.
Let's go up a little, see how fast I can go without kicking all the water out of it. That's a little faster. Could let it run, you know, at a slowish speed. I don't think that's anywhere near half throttle, but it's as fast as I can run it without water coming out of it. So, we just let it run that way. Uh, what I'm going to do is, after I've run it for, well, for a couple hours altogether, it's been running close to an hour now. I'll take it down, I'll put it on the boat. It's not raining today, which is good. I think we, they were talking about we might get rain, but I don't see any. So, I'll take it down and we'll put it on the boat later today and we'll take it out of the cold. And it said to run it for some more time without, you know, taking it to high speed. So, I'll take it out of the cold and we'll do that in a little bit. Okay, okay. Another thing I'm thinking about doing is actually setting up a transom thing on the back of the golf cart. Uh, what I thought would be neat it would be if I'm taking this to the back down toward the lake, instead of laying the motor down, if I could just clamp the motor on here the same way you would clamp it on the back of a boat, then I could, it's a lot easier to pick the motor up and set it on something than it is to pick it up and flip it over and lay it down and then pick it back up and flip it back over and do all those things, you know. So uh, I had already, this golf cart had a little opening door what the heck do you need an opening door when the thing's only three inches wide anyway so i shot some screws through the end of this the other day and i think what i'm going to do is put this tube before here and do the same shoot some screws here and up through the bottom and then i can just hook the motor here when i want to go down down there with it so that's how that's working out be able to take it down to the core line and then from there carry it down but uh that way I don't have to wrestle with the motor quite so much while I'm getting it down there. Oh, the joy. Let's go out on the water. <laughs> 